Factoids are a really interesting class of bio-inspired polymer. We can control the monomer sequence exactly and therefore have control over how the polymer folds into precise molecular architectures. Like these two-dimensional peptoid nanosheets, ultra-thin and they have a molecular structure very similar to proteins. But we ran into an interesting problem when we tried to scale these up. We noticed dramatic differences in nanosheet yield depending on whether we stirred the vial or shook the vial, both containing the same aqueous peptoid solution. So for answers, let's look at the molecular structure of the nanosheet. It's a 3 nanometer thick bilayer consisting of multiple copies of amphiphilic peptoid polymers. These peptoids have a hydrophobic section and hydrophilic section arranged in such a way as that we can think of these as amphiphilic rods. In the presence of water, these peptoids essentially float in a monolayer on the air-water interface. So we began a detailed study of the air-water interface of these peptoid solutions, and we found that during shaking, the monolayer essentially compresses, pushing the chains together and squeezing them out into a nanosheet. We came up with a much more controlled method of doing this by rocking a vial gently from vertical to horizontal and back again. And what this does is it compresses the surface area of the liquid in the vial in a very defined way. And this cycle can be repeated over and over to produce large quantities of nanosheets. Many thanks to my awesome team of collaborators and to the Department of Energy and the Defense Threat Reduction Agency for funding.